The U.S. Road Assessment Program began in 2004. Uh, U.S. RAP, as it's known, is sponsored by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety, uh, and there have been important financial contributions from the FIA Foundation and from IRAP. Uh, the research team consists of Midwest Research Institute, uh, where I work, and Iowa State University, which makes the maps for U.S. RAP. Uh, we have an advisory panel made up of representatives of the states, uh, the state highway agencies that are participating in the project, and the auto clubs in those states, as well as ASHTO, which is the national organization of the 50 state highway agencies, uh, local highway agencies, and a number of uh, national stakeholders who are interested in the outcome of U.S. RAP. As I said, the uh, work began in 2004. We have completed three pilot studies which involved risk mapping in a total of eight states. The phase one report completed in 2006 uh, uh, developed risk maps for two states. Uh, those states were Iowa and Michigan. In phase two, completed in 2008, we developed risk maps for Florida and New Jersey. And in the phase three report, com completed in 2010, we developed risk maps for four additional states, Illinois, Kentucky, Utah, and New Mexico. A key recent activity in US RAMP has been a validation study for the star rating concept. Uh, our advisory panel in US RAP asked us to demonstrate that the uh, star ratings are actually uh, related to crash risk. To do this, uh, we gathered data on 2,400 kilometers of road in the state of Iowa and 2,400 kilometers of road in the state of Washington. This included a good mix of roadway types of freeways and two-lane highways and urban arterials and so forth. Uh, the results of this have been published in the uh, Phase 3 report of U.S. RAP, uh, as, and recently a paper has been published in Transportation Research Record 2147 documenting the results. We have a slide here which shows an example of the validation study results. We developed a number of plots of this type which show the uh, variation of crash risk with the star rating. This slide for uh, fatal and serious injury accidents involving uh, car occupants uh, in the state of Washington shows that the uh, highest crash risks were for the one star roads, that two star roads had lower crash risk, three star roads lower still, and four and five star roads lower, but about the same. So this shows in general that uh, for these two-lane undivided highways that there is a, a clear relationship between the star rating and crash risk on the roads. We believe that based on these results there's a clear indication that star rating uh, is a valid concept for uh, being used in U.S. RAP uh, for rating U.S. roads. This has been clearly demonstrated for two-lane undivided highways in rural areas and also for several other types of rural roads. Uh, the only place where the evidence was not completely clear was on freeways, which are mostly four and five stars, and their crash rates are, are really about the same. Another current U.S. RAP activity is the development of a strategic highway safety plan for Kane County in Illinois. Uh, Kane County is a county located on the edge of the, the suburban area of uh, Chicago, Illinois. The county has a population of about half a million in an area of 1,347 square kilometers. The county road system is uh, made up of about 520 kilometers of road and it's a good mix of urban, suburban, and rural roads. Uh, the county has set out to develop a strategic highway safety plan, and they have uh, decided to base their plan 
on the outputs of US RAP studies on, on risk maps, on star ratings, and on the uh, uh, Safer Roads Investment Plan. The partners in this effort are the Illinois Department of Transportation, uh, the Kane County Division of Transportation, the Illinois State Patrol, US RAP, and NAVTEC Corporation. Uh, US RAP will be using data from both the state and the county to develop the risk maps, star ratings, and the Safer Roads Investment Plan. US RAP is currently looking at the feasibility of automating the uh, road protection score ratings that are the basis for star ratings and the Safer Road Investment Plan. Um, the, automating these ratings is important given the scale of the road network in the US. Four million kilometers of paved roads uh, administered by thousands of state and local highway agencies. Given the scale of the road system in the United States, moving beyond a manual rating process is a key to the feasibility of a star rating program and the development of safer roads investment plans. US RAP and NAVTEC Corporation have started a joint research effort to look at automating the RPS rating process using information from video recordings, from existing databases, and most especially from LiDAR sensors. Uh, NAVTEC Corporation operates very high-tech uh, vehicles that gather information, and US RAP and NAVTEC will be working together to automate as many of the attributes used in star ratings as possible.